What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Andy Matrix. And this one webtoon, yes, this one webtoon is actually destroying, absolutely freaking destroying Marvel and DC. You guys have probably heard about it. You guys have probably seen it in bookstores. Or you've probably seen it on webtoons. It's one of the most popular webtoons, right? Uh, they don't, and I don't see people talking a lot about it, but it's out there. It's very popular, and there I say it's actually more popular with the girls. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But it's destroying Marvel and DC, right? Because it is a comic book, right? It started out as a digital, uh, digital webtoon, and now it is a best-selling print comic book. Now the name. The name of the comic book it is is called Lord Olympus, and it's actually reached the top twenty uh, um, adult graphic novels, right? Uh, Lord Olympus. I've I've actually talked about it on this channel, not a lot, but every time I talk to, I talk about sales, manga sales, comic book sales. The name always shows up, and I finally decided to look it up, and I was absolutely uh, you know amazed by it, right? So Lord Olympus, I think he has about three volumes, right? Three volumes or three, right? Three parts, three books, right? This webtoon is absolutely astounding. So here we are on the webtoon page so of Lord Olympus. It's a romance comic book. But if you take a look, if we zoom in to the to the views here, the, this little eye icon, it says 1.2B. That's 1.2 billion views. 1.2 billion views, right? And you're, you're probably going to say, oh, well, it's free on webtoons, Andy Matrix. Yeah, you're right. It's free on it's free on on webtoons, but this is so part of the marketing strategy, right? This is so part of the marketing strategy because it has sold millions of copies, and I'm gonna show you in a minute. But you're probably thinking, but wait a minute, Andy Matrix, why would anybody want to buy the print copy of Lord Olympus when they could just read the whole you know the the whole thing on for free on webtoons? And the secret, <laughs> there's just really not a secret. Um, a lot of people are actually surprised by this, but there is a huge, huge demand for print copies, right? There is a huge demand for paperback books, for, you know, for just print copy comic books, having the actual thing in your hands, right? So if we actually go to the Lord Olympus Amazon page, this comic book, it started as a webtoon, now it's a comic book, on Amazon, the physical copy, the paperback, has 9,855 reviews, right? So it has about half of the amounts that, half of the amount of reviews that Harry Potter has, right? But but hold on a second, hold on a second. Now, some people think, oh, well, there's 9,000 reviews. That means 9,000 people bought it. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. It doesn't mean that 9,000 people bought it. Now, I've been in the publishing game. Yes, I've actually published books in, in on Amazon. And the most books I've sold on Amazon for my novel, my epic fantasy novel, was 600 copies. I know it's not a lot, but it's something. Okay, something is something. <laughs> 600 copies. And I've actually talked to, you know, uh, independent publishers out there like Chris Fox, Lindsay Baroker. Look them up. Yes, they're bestsellers, you know, the t in, in the indie publishing game. You know, when it comes to like Kindle publishing, independent publishing, with you know fiction they are the top they are at the freaking top okay i've talked to these people people like brian meeks yes i've actually met them i've talked to them so yeah so if you look at this number 9855 what this is okay what this is in when it comes to books and comic books for every for every 100 to 200 people that buy that buy a book on amazon that means they, that means one person will leave a review. So let's say you sell 200 copies of a book. One person will leave a review because not everybody leaves reviews. Some people are just way too lazy. But on average, Amazon has calculated that for every 200, 200 purchases of a book, one person will leave a review. So let's go ahead and do some math here. So we take 900, excuse me, 9,855 uh, reviews, right? And we uh, multiply it by 200 purchases that's 1.9 million books sold 1.9 million books sold so this this book 
This comic book, Lord Olympus, has sold almost 2 million copies, maybe more by the time of this video, maybe more. Right? And it's going to continue selling more, Lord Olympus. It is an absolute bestseller. Right? These are numbers that your average that your average comic book you know doesn't reach. Marvel and DC, they don't reach these freaking numbers. The only the only intellectual properties that they that they have that, that kind of reach these numbers sometimes is Batman, is Superman, and maybe Spider-Man. Right? Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. Aside from that, all their other stuff, it doesn't sell as much. It just doesn't. Right? It doesn't sell as much. Now, why is it that Marvel and DC do not get into this into this game of webtoons, right? Why don't they? Because this is actually this is actually an absolute great strategy. You you know you put chapters out there for free, and and then you promote. And then once you get enough enough views, enough viewers, you promote the the print copy. Yes, the print copies are on demand, and you can sell hundreds of thousands, even millions of copies. How come Marvel and DC have not adopted, right? Especially, especially due to the fact that they have millions of dollars. They have the budget to make this happen. As a matter of fact, they don't even need webtoons. They can, they can open up their own, um, you know, webcomics website, right? And they can get millions and millions and millions of views all over the world and then promote the paperback. But they don't. So why is it? They are absolutely behind on the game. Now, to be fair, to be fair, um... DC does have, you know, Batman, the Wayne family adventures on Webtoons, right? It's got about, what, 70 million views, right? But they're not utilizing that. It's just out there. They're not utilizing that. You know, they're not, they're, they're not using that and converting them to sales with print copies like Lord Olympus did, the creator of Lord Olympus. It is an absolute waste. And one of the reasons, one of the main reasons is because... Uh, Marvel and DC, the people that mostly buy Marvel and DC comic books are people like millennials and boomers and, and Gen X. I think, yeah, Gen X, if I'm not mistaken. So people in their, in the age of 30, 40 years old and 50 years old, right? The old, the old school, the longtime comic book fans, those are the ones that buy comic books, right? They'll buy, they'll, they'll buy a paperback with no questions asked. But Marvel and DC are leaving behind the young generation, Right, the young generation, what they do, they they read first, they go digital first, and if it, even if the digital copy is good enough, they're going by the real thing, right? So they go on webtoons, and, and look, look, everything is digital now. Everything is digital. Music's digital. Video games, you can download ga video games directly to your PC. You know, comic books, everything. Ebooks. We have the Kindle, Amazon Kindle, right? Everything is digital. But yes, there's still a huge demand for paperback. But the young, the, the young generation, they go digital first, and then they go buy the paperback. And Marvel and DC, they are absolutely missing on this. So why haven't they caught up to this? Why haven't they caught up to this, you know, to this trend? And it's because they're clinging to the old ways. Right? They're clinging to the old ways. And th this also shows you. This also shows you because they say... They say that, oh, well, this is supposed to be for, for this type of audience and that type of audience and that type of audience. And they've actually made comic books for young, you know, for young adults, right? But they never get the number of sales that, you know, like Lord, Lord Olympus does. They'll sell 10,000, 50,000 copies of a comic book, but it doesn't get bigger than that. Outside of Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man, it doesn't reach those levels. Of, it doesn't reach millions of sales. Barely, rarely does it. Right, so this is why Olympus, a romance com, a romance comic book, is beating the living crap out of Marvel and DC by simply using modern day strategies. So, in in uh, let's not even go into the WOKE because we all know you've heard the phrase, you know, get woke, go broke. It happens all the time. That's one of the main reasons why Marvel and DC have been going down the toilet. But it's also because they're actually ignoring, you know, you know, the, the younger audience. They're ignoring the younger audience and basically just not really paying attention to where they are. You know, because they think they think that, you know, their audience is on Twitter. <laughs> their audience is on Twitter. That's what they think. But whatever. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I don't know when Marvel and DC are going to cut up to this. By the time they catch up, they're probably going to be absolutely bankrupt. They're even trying to get into manga, which 
I know the Deadpool, the Deadpool manga is actually pretty cool, but it's it's like they're they're way too late into the game, and they have built such a such a bad reputation for themselves. I don't think too many people actually care. That's another problem. Whatever your thoughts are, make sure to comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching, and listening. Godspeed.